Huh. You kind of lose functionality while you're in this thing. I can't open my menu to eat, or draw a weapon, or really anything. Oh, wow. Whoa! Oh, shit. Getting rid of that rad's problem. I don't know if there are any turrets on my team right now at this point. Those are the same buddies that were here all along, I believe. Alright, not not great news. We're definitely in danger here. This is supposed to be the safe area, more or less. Tamiko Hayashi. Oh, they're on life support. There we go. <laughs> hey turret friend, I have a ton of spare parts. Let's finally get you fixed up again, huh? Yeah. Best buddy? What's going to happen over here? Where'd he go? Oh, he's up there now. Kind of wondering. That's concerning. Okay. He revived Bianca. That does me a concern, is what that does. Hehe. <laughs> oh god, radiation problems. Oh god. Oh god. He's like unshootable, isn't he? Is that a- is he not real? That's weird. Well, we're gonna want to use one of these guys. Uh, where are you? This guy. No, that guy. There we go. Suits repaired. Auto sword again. Um, should be good to go. Ow! There we go. That's not. It. I did not mean to do that. Oh crap! Accidentally use my power when I probably shouldn't have. They probably took out the turret now, didn't they? Yep. My turret friend. Oh no. It's borked straight to hell. Oh. They're harder to hit when they're not in space. Oh, you poor friend. I could technically still fix you. Bit much at this point. Hasn't really proven to be worth it yet. Is 
it taking any damage? Is it dead? What's going on? How'd that not blow you both up? You're like touching each other. There we go. Is the weaver dead? It kind of seemed like maybe the weaver got like exploded or something. Like, the, does it blow up into a series of cystoids? Is that a thing it can do? Maybe. Just seems less wasteful than using pistol shots on these guys. How are you not blowing each other up? You're supposed- yeah, you're supposed to blow each other up in proximity and they're like all touching each other. Weird. You the weaver? Yep. Okay, so you did die. Alright, so I made a mess of that encounter, but we got through it. Ultimately. Things are definitely worse off for that one turret than intended. Whoops. Were you- you weren't covered off before, were you? Nope, not really. Someone tried to lock you in there, as they should. Who are you? Martin Groud. That's rough, someone made it like right here. They were so close to what I presume might be a safe house of sorts, since I sent someone here, and I think they might still be alive. Not here, though. Let's try poking upstairs. Oh yeah, I remember this room. The server room. I can climb back up here. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> and this is the way to go in through the back of my uh, looking and glass. did not share anything else about me. Not even... Only the details of your condition. Morgan, hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. Chief Ilyushin ignored my request to desist 13 times. And no need to tell Morgan about the 14th time, January. I took the liberty of restocking your supplies. Found some food on the way up. Left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien-proof. I checked them. No twitching. Chief Ilyushin is correct. There are no Typhon Cacoplasmus present. Oh, thank you, January. I haven't been in here since you were lecturing me on my paraplexus. Thought for sure you were going to fire me. Too bad you were sweet on me. I could tell. Oh, we have a relationship going on with these two. Is that what's going on? I never told you why I altered my medical records. I know you were so sure when you were lecturing me, Morgan, saying I was selfish and... My father, he was imprisoned for questioning the Soviet intervention in India. Many prisoners are lost in Siberian labor camps, but my father vanished. The only thing I knew for certain was Tronstar was recruiting volunteers from those labor camps. I came here because of you and Alex and your experiments to find him. And now I know he was here. I noticed on your computer. You found a set of names and ID numbers from Psychotronics from Dr. Gallegos. The Russian volunteers were never referenced by name, but I was able to match an ID to my father. We can pull up his records. Archived experiment logs. I've already asked a great deal of you, but if you could find that archive in deep storage, I'll finally know what happened to my father. His name was Yuri Andronov. V01065532. That's a hell of a thing to find out about. Okay. Michaela's father. 
the heavy dump there. First NPC I find in the game that I can actually save and get out of there and everything. They show up here. Uh, I mean, I technically could have saved the one, that one guy, but he's apparently like a horrible monster, so I don't know if I want to let him out. That seems like a bad plan. Maybe, maybe I could still let him out at some point. Uh, so first person I actually do let out, and they seem to be somebody that's romantically involved in my character, or maybe just there's a hint at that a little bit. Uh, but more than anything, uh, she reveals this big whole secret where she faked her medical records to get in here despite her disease so that she could track down her father that was likely one of the test subjects, which probably complicates our interactions a little bit. Morgan. Morgan. Sky King Ramagan and some cookies. That was this one. Are any of you new? You made it. EOM. I think that was all there before, right? I think so. I think that was all there all along. Let's see. I've got I've killed some a decent number of things lately, so I can probably dump stuff off here. And maybe this entire pile of where was it? Oh you. I just sort real quick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that. Oh, I hit Y instead of... Dang it. Dang it! Oh, we also have a second wrench. There's That's where you went to. Okay. How else are we doing in this inventory? Got some cookies. Nah, I think I'm gonna keep that stuff around, though. Let's see, do I have an excessive amount of ammo for something right now? You. You're only worth uh, mineral, though, not synthetic. Yeah, a lot of this stuff's not really worth synthetics. Do I really have that many EMP chargers? Jeez. It'd be tempting to get rid of them, but it'd only be six synthetic total for eight for ten of them, which is not a great ratio, really. Ooh, that's worth synthetic. Q-beam cells. Let's split that crap. Put you down here. How do I? Oh, we have to hit enter first or something? Yep, that's annoying. There we go. Yeah, that's glue. I mixed up glue with Q-beam for a second there. That would have been a, a mistake. Yeah, I want to keep Disruptor around. Not as inclined to get rid of anything else, I don't think. Oh, Typhon lures are worth, uh... Are worth some synthetic and some, uh... Exotic. That makes them a bit tempting. Especially since I've never used them, even though I probably should be. What if I was level 11 T billion? Wouldn't that be exciting? I'm gonna run out of synthetic before anything else. We can work on that, though. The uh, exotic is usually my limiting factor, so even if we run out of this now, I'll uh, ultimately... It just means that I'll be able to make more neuromods in the future as I get a little more synthetic, because the uh, exotic is definitely the rarest of the bunch. It's the thing of the, of the stack I'm usually running out of, at least. A bit more synthetic. Definitely tempting to try to make up the difference. Um... How are we doing on Neuromods right now? Eight at the moment? 250 damage when they're unaware of me. Might go for the- yeah, let's go for it. Boom! I'm a super agile, super stealth attack, murder machine man, dude, thing, woman, uh, names. That's a good time. Alright. Gonna make up my mind as to whether or not I want to try to make synthetic ammo out of my stuff or not. I do have an excess of grenades, but I think that mostly just speaks to the fact that I should use grenades more, as opposed to that I should recycle them specifically. I do like my recycler charges. Probably should actually spend more of those. Let's see, this is a sign nullifying thing. I should probably be using that against weavers and stuff like that. I need to, I need to pick up my game on actually using these things when they're fitting. Let's see, so sort real quick. It doesn't sort the way I'd want it to. It doesn't put the null waves together, but it does put the EMP charges together, so, like, only null waves don't sort correctly, I guess. 
These don't sort correctly too either. I guess it's the two slot weapons are interfering with how the sorting works, but in, in slightly esoteric and strange ways, I would say. Typhon lures are most tempting to get rid of, let's see. It attracts Typhon organisms. I don't feel like I'm going to use all of these, honestly. Yeah. Let's, I'm just going to be honest with myself, I don't know if I'm going to use those. Probably should be, but I don't know if I- well... Get rid of some of them. I might use some of them in the upcoming thing, because there's like some sort of big monster coming. A bit more exotic progress. There we go. Right, whoa, whoa! Oh, jeez, you walked into me. I was like, why am I hovering into this thing? Okay, so... Yeah, definitely more, need more synthetic. I'm gonna stop there at recycling that stuff, though. That might have been enough for the next upgrade, though. Let's see, that's the tech stuff. I might focus on stats next. So, like, one more and I can do toughness. Stealth helps me do the stealth attacks, though. Could go either way. We'll go both ways, ultimately, so it's fine. Okay. Any more follow-up dialogue, since I can't really get to deep storage right now? Got stationed in engineering because paraplexes prevented me from being a pilot. Now, a pilot's what we need. Well, you did lie. You set that, you, you set that up yourself. Is that all the dialogue we have? I think it is. Alright, well, that was worth the trip, I think. Hello? Oh. Listen. Hey, you're supposed to, You're supposed to defend this room, so please don't start falling apart. That'd be awfully problematic. You instructed me to sabotage the test procedures if Alex ever failed to release you, or if the Typhon organisms escaped containment. Both happened. You designed me to assist you. I have more instructions, but I can't access them until you've recovered both arming keys. I have your voice. It's a tactic to ease your natural suspicion. I'm sure you realize this. I mention it so that you'll know I'm earnest. Simmons installed blank neuromods on you. That's why you can remember the previous day's test and escape. Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes. All made possible by our friends from outer space. So one of the things that's interesting about this kind of game is the fact that I could just pull out my shotgun right now and blow her away, and probably blow January away, and the game would just have to adapt to that and just accept my actions from that point on. Is this shutter closed? That's interesting. It would keep them safe from whatever's outside, like the, uh, what was attacking, so like, that makes sense. Yeah, they closed the shutter. Interesting detail, because they would kind of need to. I love that I can do that. I need to take advantage of that more often. You were already here, right? Yeah, Alice, I can... That looks like an item I can use. No, I think that was blown off of a turret or something along those lines. It definitely looks like the, uh... What do you call zums? What do you call zums? The, uh... I should get the decryption key. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's do side questy stuff. Yep, here it is. Uh, lost track of my thought process a little bit. I was almost gonna say something, and then I didn't. We can get into Devry's place now. This has been waiting for a while. Don't hear skittering. Don't have the code for you. Could just hack it. I kind of want to poke around though to see if we can find the code. Oh, look how much stuff he's got in here. Playing cards. Cellular Society. The social repercussions of medical technologies. Dr. 
Evan Harding. Yet the effects of medical technology on society's norms can be more pronounced. To cite a recent example, recent in his air quotes, uh, one only has to recall cigarette use was often frowned upon as a habit until advances in the food industry that allowed for the consumable microspheres that captured and expelled cancer cells from the body. Simultaneously, both the fear of cancer and the stigma attached to smoking vanished within a generation. Now smoking is perceived as no more harmful than drinking a soda. Wow. The headline of that is about how, like, uh... Smoking is a, is acceptable now, but really the real headline for us in modern society reading that head, reading that article is oh my god they cured cancer. That's the big deal there is they straight up they straight up uh, cured cancer, so all the things known for causing cancer like are just whatever now because cancer doesn't exist anymore. That's easily the biggest deal of that situation. All right, time to check a look. Morgan's psyche valves from Alex Yu to Hendrik DeVry. Oh, do no harm. Yeah, I found my psych evaluation. Hendrik, I need. Oh! Download DeVry's decryption key. Yep. Hendrik, I need you to remove all sensitive material regarding the psych valves immediately. Of special importance are Morgan's log sessions. I need those materials in my office. From this point forward, only speak through an encryption encrypted transcribe. I've sent you the decryption key. You should be able to download it from your work workstation. Subject for quarantine, from Alex Yu. Hendrik, Trevor Young is one of our scientists. He was exposed to our inner containment area without proper protection. He's gone through observation in psychotronics and has his most recent neuromods removed as a precaution. But we'd like to keep him under for standard quarantine until we can be certain there are no lingering psychological effects. Work with Dr. Cole on this, thanks. Okay. We got that. This guy's definitely the one of the people that's been in my brain and screwing with me in ways that I'm not super fond of. I can't. I can't listen to it from here. I figure just hitting L would work, but I think I have to go find it. Alex, damn it! Hold on, I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay, Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A C B A C. Good luck. Okay. So now we have a place to go in Cole's office. This guy's been doing stuff in my head and going behind my back though, so I'm not fond of that. Screw his old office. Yay. <laughs> his office has paid the price for his his behavior. Get out of here. Wow, it's so uncluttered in this room now. Isn't that nice? Your recycler chargers don't grab as much stuff as you would kind of probably want. Oh well. If you're not gonna give me the code, I'm gonna make the code. Oops. Let me in, let me in. Neuromod- Three Neuromods? Dang, bro. S now I've got seven, okay. That's a big deal. Let's get that stealth up. Now I walk and run without making noise, that'll make me sprint without making noise, which would, would be ideal, because then I can, I can sprint up behind people and get a shot off. While being in proper stealth mode, technically, which means that we can get that multiplier on damage pretty consistently, which would be A-OK -okay with me. The article from before. Here's Cole's office. We've been in here before. Any new bad news in this room? No, everything's familiar. Those are the session logs from before. Behavioral test. None of those people are my name. Program requirements document. Good cop, bad cop. A 
That's just you. We've seen that before. Am I missing something here? Let's see. Search Dr. Cole's office. A C B A C. Ah, uh, I see. A C B A C. Good. That's interesting. Gives us a picture of that guy. The one in the back there, maybe? Is it just restarting now? Maybe. You or you? You? Oh. You seem frustrated. I have months that are just gone. I've been listening to the logs, reading the research, playing catch-up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? We know the projects aboard This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no. That's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this. That... Morgan is not me. I would ne... Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them. You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill. I want this station shut down. I want Earth- Morgan. I said no. <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. Wow. I sound totally down for this and not at all freaked out by this scenario at all. Yeah, Morgan is not into this. So, so along the course of the, uh, of the experiment, she felt just like how we more or less feel about the situation right now. That's been consistently true, apparently. Even if... Did she originally agree to it? Yes, no, who knows? It's hard to say for sure, but she definitely isn't into it nowadays, that's for sure. Alright, so that's just three more Neuromods again. I just got two Neuromods... Three Neuromods twice from two different saves, so that's... A lot of goddamn Neuromods. Is this guy still here after all this time? Yep, Trevor Young. Poor guy. Oh, Javrai. 7324. That was probably the uh, combination to the safe that I just opened. I would guess. Maybe not that one. Different one? This isn't Javrai's office, that was the one over here. Yeah. So that was the combination to that lock, probably. Oh, now I feel dumb for hacking it. Just because it would have been satisfying to do that code that we've been waiting to use whole game. But because it was a code you don't get from looking at, but have to actually remember... It wasn't remembered by the game at that point. I mean, this room is just a gosh dang mess is what it is. And we just can't be having that. There we go. Really, that's it? Oh. At least I think there should have been more for that room. Huh. Didn't even consume the body. R.I.P. Oop, banana peels. Gotcha. 
I guess at this point I'm just gonna head back. Yep, let's get back to the lift.